There is no shortage of crazy shit in this game, that's for sure. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest f***ing things in Far Cry 5. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be ranking the most insane, ridiculous, and crazy things that can and do happen in Far Cry 5. We will be discussing various plot points throughout this list, so a spoiler warning is now in effect. See, mankind is weak and vulnerable. Number 10, Peaches and Cheeseburger. There have been animal companions before throughout the Far Cry series, but none compared to the sheer awesomeness that are Peaches and Cheeseburger. You acquire the mountain lion Peaches after the mission Here Kitty Kitty, and once acquired, you can make her stalk prey in tall grass or sick her on unsuspecting enemies. Cheeseburger is a frickin' grizzly bear, and he was nurtured back to health by Wade, and also serves as a fang for hire throughout the game. Having both animals at your disposal wields wicked results. Eh, nothing makes us prouder than watching our little babies ripping the throats out of some poor sap. Number 9, Shovel Spear. In a game full of incredible weapons, players have taken a liking to a very weird choice. The shovel. Yeah, the shovel. The shovel serves as both a melee weapon and a projectile, as you can bash people over the head with it or throw it like a javelin and impale your targets. It's so much fun using the shovel spear that it's become the game's go-to weapon. Players are creating shovel challenges, doing shovel-only playthroughs, making memes, posting hilarious YouTube montages, and writing amazing Steam reviews based entirely around the frickin' shovel. Now, if only a real shovel was this much fun. Number 8, O'Hara's Haunted House. Honestly, who doesn't love a good haunted house? O'Hara's Haunted House is a prepper stash that you can find in the northwest of Dead Man's River. Once you've turned on the power, you're forced to walk through the campy haunted house as things jump out at you from the shadows. Animatronic people charge at you with knives, and creepy screams emanate throughout the house. It's a lot of fun, and it brings up memories of summer vacations and walking through similar haunted houses with your buds. Like this one, they were all terribly corny, but, you know, you'll love them anyway. Number 7. John Seed absolves Nick Rye of his sins. Yes. Yes, I will, Tom. The Far Cry series has gone to some very dark and disturbing places, but perhaps no scene in the series is as upsetting as John Seed's attack on Nick Rye. In this particularly brutal cutscene, Rye is pinched to the ground while Seed cuts off a chunk of flesh from his chest. He then takes the chunk and literally staples it to the wall while Rye rolls on the floor in pain. If you, in turn, refuse to renounce your sins, Jerome is brutally beaten in front of your eyes. It's a nasty scene that cements Seed as one of Far Cry's better villains. Number 6. Those Damn Turkeys <laughs> The Far Cry games have always been riddled with dangerous predators. We've come to expect the odd attack from a hungry bear, or worse yet, if you're playing Far Cry 4, an eagle that wants to scratch your eyes out. But nothing could have prepared us for these damn turkeys. Like the shovel, the turkeys are quickly becoming one of Far Cry 5's breakout elements. Many people are discussing the bloodthirsty birds on social media and posting hilarious, and may we add terrifying, turkey-related videos on YouTube. Dark Souls pales in comparison to the sheer pain in the ass that is dealing with these damn wild turkeys. Number 5. Burn Baby Burn Far Cry 3 had a particularly awesome mission that saw you burning down a weed field while Make It Bun Dem played in the background. Literally, there's no way for me to say the title of that song without sounding like a jackass. Anyway, Sharky's recruitment mission is Far Cry 5's answer to that. The mission begins when you speak to the hilarious flamethrower and music-loving Sharky Bowshaw. What follows is pure action bliss, as you kill angels and Sharky sets them on fire while the Tramp's Disco Inferno plays on loudspeakers. The combination of Sharky's funny interjections, the carnage at hand, and the fun music comes together to make one of the game's best missions by far. Number 4. The Blood Dragon Missions You know how many f***ing awards Blood Dragon 3 is gonna win if we shoot this f***er correctly? <laughs> All of 
of them! There was an amazing piece of DLC for Far Cry 3 titled Blood Dragon, which took its inspiration from 80s movies, complete with old-fashioned neon title screens and synthesized music. It was praised for its originality, which is perhaps why they decided to bring it back for a few missions in Far Cry 5. In the game, movie director Guy Marvel is shooting Blood Dragon 3. In one mission, you help ensure that it stays quiet on set, and in a second mission, you help him film a scene from the movie. It's a brilliant throwback to one of Far Cry's most original entries, and a welcome break from the scenery of Far Cry 5. Number 3. When you accidentally kill Eli I'll get right to it. I know what you did down south. You got the father thinking twice now, and that's good for us. Well, that was one interesting outcome. Still, we gotta give Ubisoft props for integrating Eli's death in such a personal and unique way. As part of Jacob Seed's hypnotic sequence, you are forced to run through a challenging area while the timer runs down. Throughout the entire mission, you're on edge, which results in you instinctively shooting Eli as you're around the corner. You aren't expecting anything of the sort, and when you snap back to reality and see Eli drop dead, your heart can't help but sink. Well done, Ubisoft. You got us this time. I was the two. Wait! Weedy! It was Jacob. No! Listen to me. It was Jacob. Number two, the Testicle Festival. You know what this town needs? Balls. I'm dead serious. Falls Inn's annual testicle festival is a decades-old tradition. In one particularly weird side mission, you are tasked with helping the town with their annual testicle festival, which is supposedly based on a real thing that happens in Montana. In the mission, though, you are forced to watch bulls have sex with cows while Marvin Gaye plays in the background. If that wasn't enough, you are then forced to cut the testicles off of the bulls so that festival goers can chop down on deep fried testes. We can't really think of any other game that's done something quite like this. And it definitely continues Far Cry's streak of weird and ultimately hilarious missions. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. A young fellow named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old bar. Number one, everything with faith. God damn, do we love us some Faith Seed. Faith is the manufacturer of the local drug, Bliss, which is used to keep the cult members in a constant state of euphoria. Every scene involving Faith occurs in some state of hallucination, ensuring that every interaction with her is a complete trip. In some of these hallucinations, it appears as if Faith sprouts wings and flies, and she can also run at abnormally fast speeds. If you also happen to walk into the plant used in Bliss production, you enter a hallucinogenic state complete with white dots and trippy colors. While we don't condone real drug use, Bliss is still a total blast. This is the world? This? This is the world we built for our children? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.